years I've been drinking coffee from this tap water. I live in Elk Grove, California, and the coffee tastes like really bad. I've tried all kinds of different flavors of coffee, so we're going to do a test today. I installed this four-stage reverse osmosis water filtration system from Costco. And now I'm going to take some tap water and put it in this cup. This is regular tap water. Now I'm going to take the osmosis water, put it in this cup. Now I'm going to take Kirkland's bottled water. We're going to test the city levels of these waters and the pH levels and see what we come out with. Kirkland water. Now here's the crystal geyser water. This is the tap water. Look at this. We got 7.5. So now we're going to test the osmosis water. Whoa, look at that. It's still climbing. It's 8.8. .8. 8.9. It's 8.9. Earlier it was 9.0. Okay, now we're going to test the Kirkland water. That 8.9, I made coffee this morning with it. Uh, brought out the coffee flavor. It tasted really good. Now this Kirkland water is 8.0. No, nope, 7.9. 7.8. 7.6. It's dropping. 7.5. Yep, 7.5. So now we're going to test the crystal geyser water. It's, whoa, look at that. 6.9. Crystal geyser water. It's not going up, down. 6.9, just staying right there. So that's pretty acidity. Now if you want a really good cup of coffee, this reverse osmosis does the job and tastes good. And here's the chart, yep. the pH level chart. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on here, but uh, 7 is, it's not even barely neutral, it's a little bit yellowish. 8 is kind of in the neutral. And when you get up to nine, you're, you're getting more alkaline in your water. So the reverse osmosis water is almost about nine. So that's really good to drink and it's healthy for you. All these other waters um, are seven and they're not very good. Tap water is just as good as the Kirkland and the Crystal Geysers, uh, even worse than the Kirkland water. Kirkland water is from Costco. Crystal uh, geysers from the dollar store. Yeah. Problem with this one is it's not PPA free, which most people don't even know that, which you're drinking chemicals from the plastic, and that's why you get that sour, bitter taste when you drink this water. Um, some of them are PPA free, but this one is not. So you're going to be tasting very soury water when you drink out of here compared to the ver reverse osmosis, which is this thing here. I'll show you how it looks under the sink. Filters are on this side. You got four of them. And then you got your little tank that holds the water. And uh, you can see all the hoses. There's uh, four of them, four or five of them. And then this is the faucet you get with it. It's got a little lead light that tells you that it's the water is clean. It'll turn red when it, it's ready to be changed, the filter, a warning light. And that's it. We're happy with the reverse osmosis from Costco. Some complaints are that it leaks. Well, you got to make sure all the fittings of the hoses are plugged in tight. You got to make sure this one's tight because if it's not, it has a little dripper on the side here. 
and it will drip right under the sink down the line and then it will look like a watery mess under your sink so make sure this is tightened and that's about it